So one thing I get asked a lot is why did we do trueflation or inflation? Why did we start there? And why don't we just rely on government related sources like we do already today? And the whole world actually does two things or three things I'd rather say around that one is the model at which inflation is calculated today was built on a century ago process, right? The model was developed more than a century ago, a hundred years. Look at the evolution and innovation that has happened in the last century. Computers, mobile phones, internet, cloud computing, electricity, all of those things are now available today. And so we felt that we could take a slightly different approach to that process, number one. Number two is the information that we get around inflation comes to us one month later. So it's based on one month ago's data and it's 10 days later. So one month and 10 days later, we get information on inflation updates. We now live in a real time world. We expect everything in real time. Everything is online. So we have all of this data. We have it live. It's accessible and we have the compute resources to run it through calculations that we can immediately turn it around on a daily basis. Do we need it daily? Maybe, maybe not. But those people that do and the companies and businesses that rely heavily on inflation feel that there is a huge cost benefit of having it on a daily basis versus on a monthly plus one month plus 10 days basis. The third reason was why we looked at inflation was at the moment the calculation is based on census model, which is really they go out, survey a representation of consumers that use this data. And then they use it based on a lifestyle approach to pricing. So if you're used to meat, you do you want steak? Do you want chicken? Do you want pork? Basically, each one of those would be replaceable because they're meat. And so they would then view which is the cheapest of that. And then we would take that price. And so number one representation model, number two is the actual lifestyle approach to it. We felt we could use a developer approach to that, access a whole suite of APIs and pull in that data to then identify what is the actual price of steak or rump steak versus T-bone steak or chicken or pork. And then you can then aggregate that from multiple sources together and then work out based on a geography, a what the average price of that is going to be and how that average price has moved over the course of time. And so that was really the third reason as to why we focused on inflation first. And we'll bring many more different types of financial related data points together in that form and fashion.